Good evening, folks. We're dealing with two unexpected things at the moment. First, when I did the double special report in the morning show today, I knew there would be a third in a special video later in the day. I just didn't think it would be this one. Second, I knew that the geomagnetic effects hadn't quite peaked in the morning show, but I didn't expect a level 3 event, a strong geomagnetic storm at KP7. I had expected only minor storms, if anything, and I had expected the second video to be a special on the galactic current sheet and solar triggering. Instead, it's the sun triggering the earth and something that should not be. Folks, neither me or NASA, NOAA, ESA, or IPS in Australia predicted this. The CME speed appears to have peaked at just around 500 kilometers per second, stronger than ambient solar wind, but weak in terms of a CME. It was not so dense. The filament that released was relatively small compared to many others, and much of the potential plasma sailed southward instead of erupting. The point is that there is absolutely nothing in the history of space weather that advises the expectation of a strong geomagnetic storm off a mild CME produced by the eruption of a small plasma filament. The deviation shown on the magnetometer is equally challenging. This is like when the little dude with glasses knocks out the bully and everyone is just wondering, what just happened? Sure, a KP7 isn't scary in terms of the solar kill shot scenario, but if you consider how weak this solar event was, there aren't many explanations for what's happened at Earth, especially without previous impacts or coronal hole streams. The field was totally calm and steady. The best explanation is that Earth's magnetic field is weaker than we've all realized. In 2000, we knew it had lost 10% since the 1800s, another 5% was lost by 2010, and we knew that further accelerations in the modern excursion of Earth's magnetic field occurred in 2015 and 2017. They didn't give us new loss rates or total loss estimates, but by all account, the magnetic field should have handled this better. What happens when the next one hits on the heels of a coronal hole stream, or when it's a big filament, or X-class solar flares, or multiple? If indeed, the severity of today's geomagnetic event is caused by the weaker magnetic protection of our planet, we are not going to get through this sunspot cycle. The field can't be taking hits like this from Nerf balls when bullets are about to start flying from the sun the next few years. I guess that other special report will have to wait. I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.